as you get to the end of the quarter, one of the things you might want to figure out is what students do I have that are missing work in each of my classes? And I know a lot of us teach a lot of classes and it might be a little tedious to go through each class and look for those empty windows of grades. So I wanted to take time today and just show you really quickly how you can run a missing work report. Now, with a little bit of creativity as far as adjusting the settings, you'll be able to find multiple ways, I think, to be able to use this report, maybe uh, printing them out to hand to kids to let them know what they're missing at any point during the quarter. But it's also very helpful for you as you get to the end of the quarter to find out who do I need to chase down, who do I need to uh, let parents know grades have been turned to zeros because of missing work, whatever. So obviously get logged into PowerSchool. You'll see your classes. Go ahead and get over to Power Teacher Pro. And then over here on the left, you'll see, make sure that you're in the quarter that you want. I'm in quarter one right now because I want to do missing work for quarter one. But come on over here to reports. And you've got the option for missing assignment report. And here's where you'll be able to play around with your settings. Um, you can call it missing assignment report. You can name it whatever you want. Under classes, you can select individual classes that you'd like to do, just one or you can select all of your classes um, to run missing reports for all of them. The, you don't need to use a custom class name. The student field would be what you want showing up to identify a particular student. So obviously student name, layout, you can sort it by student. You could do it by class or by student, depending on how you want your report sorted. Your gradebook preference um, as far as how you, want to, how you want to see. I happen to like the student last name uh, showing up first and then you can sort them by oldest first or newest first or by category however you want to sort them those options are there for select assignments I would recommend that you check all three of these assignments that are not scored meaning there's nothing in the blank if you have used a special code to mark it missing or if you have scored it zero uh, put a zero in there you could have that show up as well so set these how you'd like them let me remind you that here if you have something coded or you've used a special code to mark it as incomplete, it won't show up here. Uh, you've got to make sure that it's not scored, marked missing, or scored zero. That's the only thing that this missing report will, will show. So you might want to get in the habit of, instead of incomplete, checking something as missing instead of incomplete. And then for categories, I would recommend you select all your categories, quiz, test, and homework. That way it's looking for missing assignments and all of those. And then obviously, since we just finished quarter one, we're going to check quarter one. You can check whatever you'd like to check. And then run the report. And you'll see up here by the little bell, you'll get a notification saying that a report is ready for you to look at. You can go to your report queue. And right here at the top, 6.59 a.m. November 1, a missing report was run. I can click on that missing report. It's going to download it down here as a PDF. And I can open it up and I can see that I have a student that is missing quite a bit of work here. Another student that's missing this work. I have a student that is missing one assignment here. I don't teach very many classes. So, and the classes that I teach are self-paced video classes anyway, but that's how that report would work. And I like how it's broken down by students so I can then print this sheet and I can give it to a student so he can look and see what he needs to get turned in. So if you have any questions, let me know. But I think this missing assignment report might be a really helpful tool for you.